the Growing Center continues with their summer song series. On Thursday, July 18th, you won't be kvetching with Zing, Yiddish sing-along, as Linda Gritz and Michael Katz lead a spirited sing-along of classics and modern Yiddish songs. Lyric sheets are provided. The garden opens up at 5.30 for picnicking, and music begins at 6. Or, on Thursday, August 8th, 440's sparkling Django Reinhardt style gypsy jazz will have you dancing in the aisles. Again, the garden opens at 5.30 for picnicking and the music begins at 6. Attend Summerfest on July 19th from 7 to 11 p.m. at Bow Market. The second annual outdoor fundraiser will showcase music, magic, and comedy performances capped with a raffle drawing. All profits benefit the New Life International Orphanage in Ghana, and the lineup includes DJ Elliot Ness and Ian Rich, among others. Go to summerfest.fun for details. The East Somerville Board Game Night is on Thursday, July 25th at Mount Vernon Restaurant at 14 Broadway. Meet new people, taste some delicious food and drink, and have a blast playing with old friends and new. Just bring a positive attitude. Visit eastsomervillemainstreets.org for details. Back to the Growing Center, help them out and help raise funds for their 2019 season at their annual yard sale on Saturday, July 27th from 9.30 to 3. There'll be something for everyone and each purchase will support the Growing Center. The event is rain or shine, there'll be tents, I've, I've heard, and more information again is at growingcenter.org. Summer is in full swing, and that means summer movies. So here's a some arts look at some special screenings and series. The Somerville Theatre has more than one special series, including the Jack Attack retrospective on Jack Nicholson. On Thursday, July 18th at 9.45 p.m., see a 35mm print of The Two Jakes, where private investigator and war veteran Jake Giddies, played by Jack Nicholson, is hired by real estate developer Jake Berman, Harvey Keitel, for some run-of-the-mill matrimonial work. After Berman shoots his wife's lover, who happens to be his own business partner, Giddies is drawn into a web of conspiracy and deceit involving the oil reserves beneath Los Angeles. While investigating, Giddies hears a voice from his past that causes him to revisit a traumatic case in Chinatown. Perhaps you'd prefer a movie about wanting the truth and the inability to handle it. On Thursday, August 8th, at 7.30, watch A Few Good Men on 35mm. Lieutenant Daniel Caffey, played by Tom Cruise, is a military lawyer defending two U.S. Marines charged with killing a fellow Marine at Guantanamo Bay. Although Caffey is known for seeking plea bargains, a fellow lawyer, Lieutenant Commander Joanne Galloway, played by Denny Moore, convinces him that the accused Marines were most likely carrying out an order from a commanding officer. Caffey takes a risk by calling in Colonel Nathan Jessup, played by Jack Nicholson, to take the stand in an effort to uncover the conspiracy. If you're a night owl or just a run-of-the-mill insomniac, check out the midnight specials at the Somerville Theater. Saturday, July 27th at 11.59 p.m., celebrate the 20th anniversary of Galaxy Quest. The stars of a 1970s sci-fi show, now scraping a living through reruns and sci-fi conventions, are beamed aboard an actual alien spacecraft. Believing the cast's heroic on-screen dramas are historical documents of real-life adventures, the band of aliens turn to the ailing celebrities for help in their quest to overcome the oppressive regime in their own solar system. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who don't make it to the Saturday night, August 3rd midnight screening of Pulp Fiction, commemorating the landmark film's 25th anniversary. The Oscar-winning script by Tarantino and Roger Avery intertwines three stories featuring Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta as hitmen who wax philosophical over the French names of American fast food products. Bruce Willis as a boxer out of a 1940s B-movie, and other such stalwarts as Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Christopher Walken, and Uma Thurman, whose dance sequence with John Travolta proved an instant classic. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Tickets can be found at somervilletheater.org. You still have time to see the complete Howard Hawks across the way at the Harvard Film Archive. One of the most celebrated of American filmmakers who ironically was little celebrated by his peers in the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences during his career. Upcoming screenings include films that span Hawk's prolific career from the original independence of the 1910s through the studio system in Hollywood, from the silent era through the talkies lasting into the early 1970s with the death of the studios and the emergence of the director as a tour the latter a phenomenon that Hawks himself directly influenced. Visit harvardfilmarchive.org for screen dates and times. 
Through August 24th, you can see movies in the park at Assembly Row. Pack up a blanket, lawn chair, and head on over to Assembly Row for free movies under the stars all summer long. All movies are shown Saturdays in the summer at dusk, so I guess you'll need to consult Farmer's Almanac or something for the exact movie times. Through August, the films in this series are Saturday, July 13th, Mary Poppins Returns, Saturday, July 20th, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Saturday, July 27th, Bumblebee, Saturday, August 3rd, The Lego Movie 2, Saturday, August 10th, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Saturday, August 17th, Captain Marvel, and Saturday, August 24th, Dumbo from 2019. More info can be found at assemblyrow.com. Across the pond at Rattle Theater, check out the return of their 17th annual summer celebration. Trailers, trailers, and more trailers on July 18th at 7.30. This year they'll be adding some newly acquired prime 1980s music videos on 35mm. So join them for a night of fabulous and fabulously horrible trailers from the Brattles collection and beyond. Tickets can be found at brattlefilm.org.